I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Y'all guess what? That brand new mini he got, he's trying to hurry up and tiger that, but look at that. What a mess we weaved. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. I kind of knew that was going to happen because of this line is just so memory. Yep. Uh, yep, I knew it too. Yep. You sure ain't got much line up, do you? Do you? Nope. See how it's coming off the spool. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, first time family? <laughs> he living up to his name, you guys. Yep. God, that line got a lot of memory on it, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of this yeah. all together. Yep. I'm just trying to. It is. Trying to get as much of, much of it back as I can. That's all right. I'm gonna cut it right there. Yep. I knew last night when I put it on here, it won't no good. You said so. It's sad, I've done enough backlashes now, I can pretty much tell you it's no good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to let go. Because that knot won't never go through the end there. No, it Well, I got another backlash for Avid. Oh, yeah. Cast it and stumbled at the same time. My knee wanted to give out. If I hadn't had my brace on, I would have fallen down right there. Huh? Be nice if I catch a fish off of the backlash, though. Boy, this bite's been there. Ain't no telling what I'll do. I catch a catfish off of the backlash. Doing here is going down the other bank and up this bank and going through this trough. Normally it's about eight to ten foot deep. I'd say right now it's about five or six, just because of the way the water is so low. But um, cause I was in the comment section. So they use about ten to pound, uh, ten, eight to ten pounds. Yeah. They say do, they do, they don't so you look how it rolled up on the spool. Yep. Yeah. It backlashed it, reeling it in. Yep. They ain't got the tension to hold the. You ain't got to do that. All bunched up down there. Oh no, it's gonna be bunched up under you. Well, it's okay. <laughs> It'll be at the end of the reel. Yeah. This stuff is memorized like crazy, man. Look at that. Yeah. It, this reel ain't even got the tension to reel this line in. So. At least I know what not to use for line anymore. Oh yeah. Perfect. I saw at Cabela's they got a spool of 1,200 yards and it's a camo braid. Okay. That's the stuff that they use when they're fishing off them boats out in that deep water, ain't it? They got oh. different color lines on it? Yeah. Okay, okay, I got you. I wanted to get some of that, man. That stuff is kind of pricey. It's like, Seventy-five dollars a spool. Yeah. At Cabela's. Yeah. See, it's not even going. It's not even reeling in right. So. Yeah. You had to put brain on that. Yeah. That's going to lay flat too. It won't roll up. Won't well, that or uh, eight to ten pound uh, mono that's not got so much memory it won't reel in right. Yeah. Hang on.
Well, I saw a shad break, so I threw right in the circle. Squirrel. Well, obviously I don't have the brakes right yet. This is what I get for letting my daughter play with my bait caster reel last night. She twisted everything around and got everything all whoppy jawed on me. Too bad of one. I'll have it out here in just a second. Brand new line on this rod, and it's already got so much memory it wants to backlash and roll up. I don't know if it's the reel or the rod, this reel or the line here. At least that one wasn't as bad. 